Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Tonight's story, same name. <laughs> By Ass Nichols. Sometimes you may not see what you like online. It may be shocking, but it may be amazing. In some cases, it's incredible, but in others, it's deadly. A couple of months ago, I decided to Google myself. I saw the usual Facebook and Twitter links when a site caught my eye. The site had my full name, and my name is not a common one. When I clicked the link, it brought me to a blank site with no posts whatsoever. I clicked the moderator's profile and I saw that they liked the same music that I did, they do the same things I do, and I'll admit I was a bit shocked. So I decided to bookmark it and possibly check back on it, you know, sooner or later. Well, about two months later, I decided to go back. It had random diary entries like, the weather was depressing today, I ordered Chinese, and I went to the concert tonight. But as time went on, I noticed some things that stuck out. The person lived in the same city as me. I mean, isn't that a bit weird that two people with the exact same uncommon name live in the same city? I began to notice some incredibly odd coincidences. In an entry, I saw that the person went to one concert that I had gone to. I mean, it's quite odd, but that could be a coincidence because thousands of people went to that concert. I decided to do a bit of digging, find out some more things about this person, and in all honesty, some of them were too close for comfort. The person mentioned uh, their rabbit and her name funny thing, I have a rabbit, and my rabbit has the same name as her. They mentioned that someone rear-ended their car and attached a picture of that car. Strange. Someone had rear-ended my car, and it's the same one. Hell, it even has the same license plate. One day, when I checked the site, I saw that people had been writing comments saying, Happy Birthday! That day was also my birthday. I decided to post a comment, just because. But when I went to write something, there wasn't a place to write a comment. It was just a flat page. In other words, someone had gone out of their way to make a site that looks like people have been visiting it and making it look interactive. That is strange. Who the hell would do that? I thought to myself. Then I decided to send an email to the owner. Hi, uh, this may seem odd, but we have the same name. I never thought that someone would have the same name as me. It was just a friendly email, nothing extreme. That next day I decided to look at the website, and it was gone. Someone had deleted it. I checked my inbox, and there was one email. When I opened it, a chill went down my spine. All it said was, I found you. So stay scary, wildlings. Remember, if it looks like someone is stalking you, it's better to be safe than sorry. And make the most of your nights.